Did you know CBD from hemp is legal in all 50 states without a prescription? I didn't know it, and that's why I made this video to inform all our followers about the many benefits that CBD oil and creams from hemp could benefit you. What you need to know are its many benefits. Let's get right into it. Hemp oil versus cannabis oil. The difference between CBD from hemp and CBD from cannabis strain. Hemp oil product is a hemp byproduct. Cannabis oil is a high level CBD for maximum therapeutic impact to both CDP and THD product. Label must state that it is made from hemp. The uh, cannabis oil should show the ratio of CBD THC in manufacturing date and batch number. Testing, due to lack of testing outside the US product may be highly contaminated. Testing is uh, tested for consistency. Ingredients, GMO, trans fats, and additives. Ingredients, no corn syrup, GMO, trans fats, or additives. Extraction, BHO, profane, laxane, and hydrocarbons. In the uh, cannabis soil, is non-toxic, supercritical CO2. Hemp, typically low in cannabis oil content, a huge amount of hemp is required to extract a small amount of CBD, raising the risk of contaminants because hemp, a bioaccumulator, draws toxins from the soil. While cannabis, the robust terpene profile of whole plant cannabis enhances the therapeutic events of CBD and THC. So, the THC is the thing in marijuana that gets you high, while in CBD does not contain a sufficient amount of H THC to get you that feeling of highness. So let's talk about CB oil for weight loss. The THC and CBD are not the same. CBD has the opposite effect. It actually suppresses the appetite. Another powerful weight loss property of CBD is that it increases the level of microchondria found within the body, allowing the body to burn more calories. You know, from uh, you know that people uh, use marijuana and get high and they get the munchies. But since you don't get high with CBD, you won't get the munchies. Very important crucial. CBD for seniors. The compound from marijuana plants shows promise for age-related health problems. CBD, which comes in a wide variety of forms, including salves, edibles, and oil, does not produce the high typically associated with marijuana. But CBD seems to help people deal with pain, inflammation, even seizures. Although even medical researchers and professionals aren't sure why it works, how it works, or even how much to use for what ailments, cannabis oil are safer than Tylenol or caffeine by tenfold if you compare them to opiates. They're about 10 times, 10,000 times safer. He recommends placing a few drops of the oil under the tongue. All cannabis is legal, uh, illegal on the federal level, but cannabis-based CBD products with THC are widely available in states where it is legal, and now it's legal in all 50 states. These products have very varying ratios of CBD to THC, and because there are no official medical guidelines on dosage, patients are left to determine for themselves how much to take or how to modify their ratio. You have to find the point at which you're very comfortable. Hopefully, and that will include as much THC as works per person. Some people do better high doses of CBD. Some people tolerate higher doses of THC. So it's a, a experiment. If this is a fairly new product. You're going to be out there looking and testing uh, different companies. And uh, one of the things is try to buy companies that are U.S. companies. Now, what are the benefits of CDB rich hemp? Kills the slow bacteria growth, antibacterial, reduces blood sugar levels, anti diabetic, 
reduce the seizure and convulsion. Reduce the seizure and convulsion. Uh, reduces inflammation, anti-inflammatory risk. Reduces risk of artery blockage. Inhibits cell growth in tumors and cancer cells. Treats for paralysis. Tranquilizing used to manage psychosis. Suppresses muscle spasms. Releases anxiety. Promotes bone growth. Relieves pain. Reduces function in the immune system. Reduces contractions in the small intestine. Protects nervous system degeneration. What will it do for you? Well, it'll do a lot of things. According to what we're researching, it's really something very interesting. Why CBD? Migraine pain, musculoskeletal pain, upper lower back pain, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, depression, anxiety, PTSD, bipolar disorder, ADHD, cardiovascular disease, acne, procedure, podiatrist, eczema, shingles. It goes on and on. It's, uh, it's, it's really something interesting how much this can do for you uh, and your uh, health. CDP for arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. RA is when the body attacks the joints with immune cells. The Sanonvo liquid that is supposed to help reduce the friction between joints becomes hard and swelling. Cannabis works so well with rheumatoid arthritis because it inhibits the immune cells from overproduction. By interacting with our CB2 receptors, CBD can mediate our immune system, helping to prevent an attack. Now, in the world of dance, and the people who tango, CBD cream for dancing in high heels. One of the major complaints women have is dancing in high heels. Dancers are strong, disciplined, flexible, incredible people, but unfortunately they aren't invincible. Using CBD may be able to help prevent conditions that develop through dance so that they can take, make the best of their, their careers in dances. Now, men also reap the benefit. Uh, you could put the cream on your knees and on your feet and uh, at the bottom of your feet and take care of your aching feet. CDP applied topically is an excellent way to decrease local pain. When applied topically, very little CDP is absorbed into the bloodstream, and it can provide significant reduction in local pain and inflammation. As for possible side effects, there are next to none, although considerably one might have a local reaction in a small minority of patients. To minimize risk, it is recommended buying from a known manufacturer and noting the CBD dosage in any product you consider purchasing. Generally, the higher the amount of CBD, the better, but also the more expensive. There are several ways to use the stuff before splitting on your heels uh, or as a mid-evening pickup. Just as the, acne, the ache starts to set in, CBD does not act instantly after, through, after tropical application. So if you're fairly sure that you will develop pain in a certain area, it does make sense to apply the CBD uh, prophylactically. So, says on the balls of the feet or the tops of the toes. Fans of tropical cannabinoid might also consider trying oral CBD via an oil attention for a more general pain relief. Just to be sure to read the label carefully first. If taken orally, there should be no THC in the product. Doctors warn unless you have a different goal. Now, let's make this clear. This is our disclaimer. All the information in this video is presented as personal opinion and does not mean to be medical advice nor in any way to be an endorsement of any of the treatments or items listed herein. Always consult a physician for all medical advice. This video can contain errors or omissions and should not take the place of licensed medical care. You know, none of us are alike. All of us are different. So your body may react differently to this product. And one of the things I keep stressing is the amount of the uh, 
product the THC that gets you high. So the idea of this is not to get high, but to help your body heal. So please share this information. I was very impressed that it's legal in all 50 states. You can buy it on Amazon. You can buy it on eBay. Uh, so make sure you buy products made in the USA and uh, experiment with the products that uh, give you the best results. See you in the next video. Please share. Please subscribe. And I'll see you on the dance floor. Bye-bye.